Mr. Ugly, so Stein. Mr. Ugly and the Human. Hello, and welcome to the Mr. Ugly Show. I am your host, Mr. Ugly. Tonight, we're wrapping up our October Oddities <laughs> miniseries with a special Halloween episode. Won't you join us? Here we have Transformers Collaborative with Universal Monsters, Draculus, and Frankentron. We have previously featured Draculus in a short video, but for this Halloween show, we wanted to take a closer look at both of these guys together. Clearly, Draculus is meant to be a Transformers version of Bela Lugosi's portrayal of Dracula from the 1931 film of the same name. And Frankentron is a Transformers version of the monster from the Universal Picture Frankenstein, which also came out in 1931. And yeah, we know the monster doesn't have a name, and that Frankenstein is the name of the mad scientist who created it. I suppose the head sculpt does sort of resemble the makeup Boris Karloff wore to portray the monster. You know, something that makes these two odd and therefore worthy of inclusion in October Oddities, other than the specific characters they're meant to represent, is how limited their releases were. Frankentron was an Amazon exclusive, and Draculus was a Target exclusive. Let's look at Draculus first. When we first featured this figure, it was a quick short, because that's all we had time for back then. So now, let's take a closer look. Draculus is a remold and recolor of Titan's Return Mindwipe. As you may recall, the big play feature of that toy line was removable heads that transform into little pilots for the alternate modes. Draculus's noggin does not detach, and the cockpit has been remolded so that little dudes won't fit in there anymore. Draculus's head sculpt and chest deco are meant to evoke Lugosi's Dracula and the dapper suit he wore throughout that film, but he still has the same weapons loadout, though now it's painted to match the Dracula's paint scheme. The claw weapon is now called his Impaler in the instructions. I guess that's a nod to the Vlad the Impaler origin for this character. The cloth cape acts like a cape in robot mode and conveniently covers the bat mode head folded up on the robot back. Slits in the cape allow you to use his hands to pose it. You know, being a Transformer, this guy probably wouldn't drink human blood, but rather Energon. That is one mean looking bat. You can add the cape in bat mode too. It covers up the folded robot head, but it looks a little silly. The mind wipe gimmick of putting the weapons together to make a sort of tail for the bat still works, but it does look super silly. I love the robotic detail on the wing webbing and that wicked mouth full of teeth. All right, let's check out Frankentron. Frankentron is a remold and recolor of Siege Impacta. He retains the shoulder cannon, but the tank mode's main gun has been switched out for a Tesla coil weapon. The coil and the included purple lightning effect putt, which looks super awesome by the way, can both attach the robot mode's back. Another change from the original Pacta figure is that his hands are now molded in a palms down position, mostly so you can do that iconic arms out monster walk. There are a lot of molded details added to the figure to make it look like it's been pieced together from bits of other bots. I like the color scheme with the sickly green plastic and the purple accents. It all works really well for me. The coil gun can also be attached to Frankie's arms. Tank mode is basically the original impact of tank mode with a few deco changes. Obviously, the Tesla coil cannon is new. Interestingly, they kept the Decepticon logo tampographed on top of the turret weapon. Perhaps this is meant to suggest that that pot came from a different bot. The turret rotates, the main cannon can move up and down a little, and he rolls on wheels in what used to be his legs and feet. The last thing I want to highlight is the packaging for these guys. The boxes are made to look like chunky VHS tapes from an old video store. 
A tray for the figure actually slides out from the slipcase outer cover, just like an old VHS tape. In fact, the back side of the tray is decoed to look like an old VHS tape. I mean, these are super clever, and the artwork is excellent. It adds to the vintage feel of these old monsters. But I do wonder who these were meant for. Most of the collaborative figures have been relatively self-explanatory. You've got famous movie franchises, fan favorite characters, but the effort that went into these guys and their packaging, plus their somewhat limited release, seems paradoxical. I mean, we love these things, but do a lot of other Transformers collectors love them too? The Universal Movie Monsters were some of the first ones that my father introduced me to when I was a kid. Movies in general, and horror movies in particular, were one of those things that we shared. They're classics for a reason. I sincerely hope that we get more of these, and I do in fact want all of the classic monsters in Transformer forms. Maybe retool and redeco Titan's Return Weird Wolf as the Wolfman. Let's see an Alicon remold for the creature from the Black Lagoon. There's probably a way to turn one of the many G1 Scourge molds into the Phantom of the Opera. I mean, he already looks like he's wearing a cape, and maybe that space boat alt mode could be made to look like a gondola, or something else from the movie. You know, I, I see where you're going with these ideas, but I think the recent Fangry figure makes a better Wolfman, since the original Wolfman never went full wolf. Yeah, just lose the bat wings and uh, maybe re-engineer the robot mode legs so they form a backpack instead of a tail. Hey, I bet they can make a decent mummy figure out of Skullgrin. His tank mode looks like it could be remolded into a sarcophagus. Uh, maybe not the most exciting alt mode, but I guess that's why I'm not a toy designer. Anyway, if they did go ahead and put out more of these Universal Monster Bots, we could do some fun stuff with them. Oh, man. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Wow, it's scary how we seem to share a brain sometimes. <laughs> anyway, folks, that's it for October Oddities. <laughs> and now look at the Transformers collaborative crossovers with the Universal Studios monsters, Draculus and Frankentron. We hope you've had a safe and happy Halloween, and that our little show has brought a little something extra to your spooky season. If you like this video, let us know by clicking that like button. We're back to our normal shtick next month, so get subscribed, and maybe ring that bell to get notified when our new stuff comes out. If you're already subscribed, then we thank you. We know you've got choices when wasting time on the internet, and we appreciate you wasting some of it with us. Until next time, mwah!